Jonathan, today we've heard that the Italian eyewear specialist, a sunglasses maker, Luxottica, is merging together with the lens maker from France called Essilor. Um, now, these two companies, they have spoken uh, about merging in the past. It's been going on for a while. Why is it okay now? I think this has been a long process of engagement, about four years, talking backwards and forwards. I suspect it's probably because it's taken them a while to work out uh, a deal structure that satisfies both sides. It's termed as being uh, a merger of equals. We don't really believe in that on Lex, but the kind of calibration of that is something you have to do quite finely. And I think also there are quite a lot of opportunities for them, so that is probably another trigger. Okay. And it's how big is this deal, by the way? About 20, so th this is billion, This or? is a 50 billion oh, euro 50 billion combination. Euro. They're roughly the same size business That's enterprise it. value of both is around 24, 25 billion, something like that. Right. And what was the market's reaction? It was very positive, actually. So you saw a big hop in Essilor's share price, up around 13%, and then about 8% um, for Luxottica. OK, and that's unusual, isn't it? Because no, at least if one or the other is perceived as a buyer, those shares would do less well, but not in this case. Yeah, yeah. They, the, there seemed to be quite a lot of potential synergies. Another article of Lex Faith is that we don't really believe that much in um, what are referred to as revenue synergies, marketing synergies. I think in this case, the market probably does. And in a sense, if you're looking for industrial logic, it doesn't really get much simpler than putting together a maker of spectacle frames with a business that makes spectacle lenses. Right. Now, the other thing that people will be looking for, if I can make that pun, is um, to see how the owner of Luxottica, Signore Del Vecchio, um, has in the past pulled back from his business only to jump back in. He, he's founded this business, even though he's 81. He seems very, very interested. How will he be involved in the combined company? Well, I think there's quite a lot of speculation at the edges around this. Um, Mr. Del Vecchio is obviously a Promethean figure building up Luxottica, coming from quite a, quite a poor background, I think. And he stepped back for quite a while. And then he returned to run the business again. You, you quite often find that with entrepreneurs. And he's been in charge for the last three years and has uh, seen three different chief executives depart during that time. In theory, he's going to split the duties of chairman and chief executive with Hubert Sanier from Essilor, who's somewhat younger, a sprightly 60-year-old. In practice, um, I think people probably expect that he will be gradually easing off. The question is whether he can bear to do that. Yeah, and I think that's what we're going to look for over the next um, year or so. Okay, Jonathan, that's very Good. interesting. Thanks very much.